All right, the I can for today is I can round whole numbers to the nearest 10, 100, or 1,000. And we're going to use the same number for each example. The first thing we're going to do is underline the place value we're looking at. We're looking at the tens first. We're going to underline the tens place value. And then we're going to draw a number line. And then we're going to label the beginning, midway, and end points. So the beginning number is going to be this number, 3,618, but we're going to keep it as 3,610. So it stays 3,610. The 1 stays the same. The 10s, 1 stays the same. And then the end point is going to be 1 more than the underlying place value. So 3,620, because 2 is 1 more than 1. And then the midway is going to be what's the halfway point between 610 and 620. Midway point is going to be 615, 3,615. The last thing you do is plot your number. So 3,618 is about, here, excuse me, here. So 3,618. Six hundred eighteen, And if that's confusing how to find the beginning, the end, and the midway point, just look at the, um, the ones digits first and then the tens, and then it'll help you see it on like a smaller scale. So like 10, 15, 18, 20, if it confuses you to see the entire number. So 3,618, the last thing after we plot it is to see what it's closer to. So 3,618 is physically closer to... 3,620 versus 3,610. So 3,618 rounds to 3,620. Okay, let's do another one. Let's start, or we're gonna round to the nearest 100 this time. So we're gonna write out the same number, 3,618, and follow our same steps. We're gonna underline the place value. This time we're rounding to the nearest 100. We're going to draw a number line. And then we're going to label the beginning, the end, and the midway points. So the beginning is going to be 3,000 this time, 3,600. So the 6 stays the same, 3,600. And then one more than 3,600, 3,700. One more than the underlying place value. And the midway point between 3,600 and 3,700 is 3,650. And then we're going to plot our number. So 618, and I know it was less than 650. So it's about, I would say here. So 3,618. And then I'm going to see if this is physically close to 3,600 or 3,700. You can see it's definitely close to 3,600. So 3,618 3, rounds to 3,600 to the nearest 100. Let's see this one more time. This time we're going to round to the nearest thousand. Same number. This time I'm going to underline the place that I'm rounding to. It. This time is thousand, so it's the three. Three thousand. I'm going to draw my number line. My first number, my beginning number, is going to be three thousand. Just three thousand. Three is going to stay the same. Then one more than three is four, so four thousand. And then halfway is 3,500, the midway point between those two values. And then I'm going to plot the number. So 3,618, definitely on this side. 600, probably right about here. 3,618. And I'm going to see if it's closer to 4,000 or closer to 3,000. Definitely closer to 4,000. So when you're rounding using a number line, um, don't forget to underline the place value, draw the number line, label your beginning number, your midway number, and your end number. It sometimes helps to do the beginning and then the end and then the midway. And then plot your number wherever that may be and then see which one it's physically closer to. Is it closer to rounding up or rounding down? And that's it.